hi friends in this video let's talk about conditional formatting in the power bi reports how to apply the conditional formatting so once the report is ready how to apply the formatting either on the font size or either on the background of a report now let me go to the power bi desktop window and let me generate a one basic report for the conditional formatting so before going to take a visualization let me show you the fields what is the table i am going to use here i will be using a employees table if you see the list of columns in the employees table i have a bonus employee name employee id first name full name gender last name location and salary so these are all the list of columns i have in the employee table so it is available in the field section so in this some of the columns are um, added uh, in the query editor some of the columns are directly coming from the database now let's not talk about that query editor so we already talked about uh, in the previous video how to apply the uh, uh, query editor or how to add a new columns or how to create a custom columns now in this video let's concentrate more on the conditional formatting for that let me take one table section here one table uh, here and let me design this how many columns i am planning to keep first employee id next uh, employee name next i'll take it as a gender next uh, location and uh, salary so if you see my table report which are contains let me increase the font uh, size and headers and uh, data so let me go to this uh, section there is a column headers let me increase the size of it by default is 8 let me increase it to some I think now it's okay. Yeah, let me increase some more so that I'll, I'll I can increase even the data as well. Yeah, it is a Sego UI 19. Now let me increase the values as well. Let's go here and uh, let's increase the values font as well. By default is eight. Let me increase it to some level. Yeah. So this is the data now. Let me increase this okay so let me again some let me decrease some so that uh, everything i can see in a single window and go here and let me decrease uh, to keep everything in a single window let me make it as a 15 yeah i can see it so now let me so apply a sort on the employee id so that all the employees on the sequential order now if you see this uh, employee ID is one, John, uh, employee name is John Doe, gender is a uh, male, location is India, and salary is uh, 35,000. So, this is a default uh, uh, display of the report. So, now how to apply the custom uh, conditional formatting or uh, custom colors to my uh, sections, individual sections. Now, let me take a salary. So, this is a salary I selected 35,000, okay? So, and 40,000, whatever it is. I selected 35,000. So let's uh, come to the um, uh, visualization section. Under that, you have a, a this setting section. So let's go here. Let's minimize everything, and you can see the conditional formatting uh, kind of tab here. So you just need to work in the conditional formatting. So we already increased the font size and the column headers font size and values font size in these two sections. Now we need to work on the conditional formatting so let's expand the conditional formatting so if you expand this so if you expand that now so for what field do you want to apply the conditional formatting i want to apply the conditional formatting for the salary so what kind of formatting you are planning to apply so if the salary is more than a 30000 i want to keep one color if it is less than 30,000, I want to keep one more color. 
so let us see by default i'll just enable see here i can apply background color uh, font color and data bars okay so let's talk about one by one background uh, color scales first let me make it as on so once i make it as on by default it applies some colors if you see by default it applies some colors you can see that so some uh, dark color and some light colors also you can see this is a system defined colors so once you enable uh, these uh, 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 background color scale on by default you will get this color if you want to change or if you want to customize that formatting you can click on the advanced controls so once you click on advanced controls so this is a default uh, colors you can see if it is a lowest value you will get this color if it is highest value you will get this color okay so now if you want to apply some uh, uh, rule based colors let's select this option color by rules once you select the color by rules option so here you will you will get a facility to define the rules so if the value is <clears throat> so is greater than 0 and less than uh, some 30000 so i want to keep some uh, some red color or any color i can define it here so you can define the custom color also you have it if you want okay you can go whatever the color you want i want to go with this color and let's say add so if the value is greater than 30000 and it is less than some i am going to keep an uh, undefined value so so that like i want to apply only two colors so let's go for uh, this is some uh, what i say some black color let's click on okay so if you click on okay if you see this the font is also on the black color and uh, our background color is also on the black color that's the reason why you are not able to see this much let me change that black color to uh, some white color click on okay so once you click on okay now you see that so wherever the value is a less than 30,000 it comes with highlight with this color and wherever the value is uh, more than 30,000 and more than 30,000 so we are getting with a normal white color so this is how we apply a conditional formatting uh, for this particular uh, salary field now let me show you one more option so let's remove this option once you remove this once you uncheck this option this is a default uh, colors and you have a diverging so it means that so in middle value will be containing this and um, the value which is near to the lowest value will get this color means almost this color middle value will get almost this color and maximum value and the nearest to the maximum they will get this color so if, if you want to define some colors you can define even like you want to define this you can keep that as a middle value okay and let's click on okay now you can see that so my uh, power bi desktop automatically identifies what is the maximum value here and what is the minimum value here so based on the maximum and the minimum values it automatically show you the color pattern here so here lowest value what i mean it automatically analyze and it will give you the this color and the, the nearest to the lower uh, lowest value it will give you this color if it is a middle and near to the middle it will give you this color almost and if it is a uh, highest value and uh, near to highest it will give you almost this color almost this color it's nothing but nearer to that color not exactly that color so this is how we apply a conditional formatting now you can do the uh, font color as well so if you want to apply the font color yes it's, let's make it as on so let me change the font color for different otherwise let me switch off this background color and let me switch on the font color so do you see that again this is also works in a similar way so let me go to the advanced controls here <laughs> yeah if you see this again this is also having uh, color by rules okay or like if you go with the diverging yes you can and you can change the minimum color to mid sorry middle value to some this click on okay now this is how you will get it this is the conditional formatting for the font of the salary field so we applied a background color for the salary field we applied a font color to the salary field then let me switch on and let me go to the data bars so once you switch on data bars if you see this you will get a bar like you will get a bar based on the maximum and minimum value it automatically calculates maximum value and it shows you the how much percentage on the top of the maximum value if you see here 
since the maximum value is 70000 that is the reason why it is almost occupied and if you go to 60000 it is 75% to 80% all occupied if you come to the 20000 it is less than uh, half it is occupied so this is how data bars works even you can you can go for advanced controls of the data bars you can see that so what is the positive bar and negative bar and you, you can define whatever you want here so this is how the conditional formatting is going to this is how the conditional formatting is going to work in the power bi so uh, that's it about a conditional formatting so in the next video we will talk about a different uh, concept please uh, subscribe to our videos and uh, provide your feedback thank you for watching that's it